Hello everybody and welcome to today's English Phrase Challenge. Now phrases today come from the television. Phrases I've heard, do you know what they mean? Let's begin. So the first phrase, it's hardly the crime of the century. We use this phrase when we're saying what has happened isn't something very bad. So it's hardly the crime of the century. That's an interesting phrase, isn't it? What about? On your own head, be it. This means I'm not going to be involved. I don't want anything to do with it. You take full responsibility. On your own head, be it. What about? Sorted then. Sometimes we just put those two words together to really mean, OK, it's done. I don't have to do anything else. You fixed it. Sorted then. What about this phrase? I hear this quite a lot, so I wasn't surprised to hear it on the television. As if. As if means as if that is going to happen. I really don't believe it. It's not going to happen. It just never has its chance. As if. What about good luck with that? Now you have to be very careful about how you hear the intonation in the voice with good luck with that. Because you might have a really nice person who just says good luck with that. And you can hear that sing song sound that means that they're being very pleasant. However, most English people use this phrase to be sarcastic. They really mean the opposite of what they say when they say, good luck with that. Did you hear that sound at the end? Good luck with that. Good luck with that. It isn't saying good luck. It's saying the opposite. And that's our final phrase for today. So have a quick flick through them. Good luck with that. As if. Sorted then. On your own head, be it. It's hardly the crime of the century. And make sure that you know what they mean and maybe practice using them until your next challenge tomorrow. Bye now.